What's up guys, it's Drew coming at you with another video. In today's video guys, we're going to be testing out some cheap fishing poles. So like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned. Let's go. Alright Cole, give us your thoughts on this fishing pole. Cole's an expert fisherman. So here's, let me show you guys the tag, what brand it is and everything. We pay $15 for uh, this fishing pole, which is like a really good price in my opinion. It's even got like a little Jesus fish on there or something. But anyway, Cole, let's unbox it. What are your thoughts on this fishing pole? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so obviously it's two pieces. It's sliced together really nice, and it's got it's kind of a tight fit. So that's that's what I like in a fishing pole. Make sure they're nice and tight so that when you cast, it doesn't stink and fly off. It's long. It's got a nice little bit of uh, bend to it. Um, we haven't really tested how far we can bend it before it breaks. But we're not probably going to do that. Um, this here, that's pretty nice. What, how does that work? Look at that. It's got a little, look, for storage. It's got a little thing you can, now it, it ain't going nowhere. But when you press this button there, that's neat, man. I ain't seen one that done that. The gear ratio is on the coast shining on there. One bearing model uh, gear ratio is 5.2 to 1. Uh, I don't know what any of that means, guys. I'm just telling you guys. Five of these turns to um, one of these turns. They are, the line on them is really not that good we're going to use it in this video just because it came on the pole but um yeah like i said the line on these is really not good at all we passed it out and a uh, big old brat nest came off of it so we're going to see if this one does it let's see i'm gonna get this rigged up guys we'll get back so guys this one does actually have the option to where it can go both ways or for the drag all right so my first cast is Line on is terrible. Yeah, this line is terrible. Mine is putting line on. Oh my gosh, I hate this. It's making my lure even. Yeah, we're gonna have to replace the line. Oh, that's terrible. So we'll get back with you guys when we do that. Yep. All right, guys. So we are up to some 10 pound test. We got a little itty bitty swim bait on there, rigged up weedless, and uh, we're just gonna see what happens. I don't think we're gonna say anything today, honestly, guys. If we do. Lesson from the Lord because it's a terrible day to go fishing. Look up at the sky. I mean, it's just, it ain't no joke. So, we're gonna try it. It's an efficient pole review, not the very efficient skill review. So, that's a great one. Got my bounce to it, too. I like that. You can hear it. it kind of sounds like a little bit of grinding or something. He's old. Just needs old, probably. Yeah, you're right. It's going to happen when you get a new fishing pole, though, at least when you get cheap ones, so. So far, not liking that it's not nut, but, yeah, what can you, what do you expect for $15? All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and swap up the baits. This one's not really doing too much good. All right, so, we're going to rig it up for crawl day. We're going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to rig it up weedless, and, I don't know, we're going to see So we're gonna go head up the road a little bit. There's a little fishing hole, so we're gonna go check that out. See if we can't catch something down there. But honestly, I'm I'm liking the fishing pole. But uh, I guess we'll just give you my thoughts at, at the end of the video. We're gonna go down there. and We're gonna try and catch something. All right, we're here. We just gotta go down this hill a little ways, and you can see it down there. But I'll meet you guys down there. Honestly, this right here is one of my most favorite spots to go fishing. A lot of the time, if the weather's right and everything, the fish are biting every cast. We'll see what happens today. But anyway, it's just beautiful down here. Got a little waterfall. Uh, so yeah, let's get fishing. So guys, I just had one on. I lost it. <laughs> we weren't recording, but anyway, we're going to start recording now, so let's do it.
Alright guys, so the more I'm using this, the more I'm liking it. This thing, honestly, it's not bad for $15. Let's get back to this. Well guys, I was fishing while Cole was rigging his up. First fish of the day, largemouth bass. Here's the here's the comparison with my dog. As you can see, it is a monster. It's bigger than my dog is. So yeah, there it is. All right, now Cole's going to be doing a little bit of fishing. We're going to see how he's liking this pole. He's liking around. He's got his line all swapped out too, as you can see. Tell us what happened, Cole. Uh, I was going in and it got close to the shore and then something obviously just fit it and yanked it off. Yeah, somehow yanked it off there, so he's going to cast in again. And honestly, these, these crawl daddies seem to be doing a pretty good job of catching fish because I've got several hits. It's just I ain't very good at setting the hook. I really think this thing is worth the money. It's it's really decent for 15 bucks. I'm not a professional fisherman or nothing like that, but I do do a little bit of fishing in my free time and stuff. And uh, normally, pole fishing pole decent ones run like 30 bucks. So if you could spend half that, get a decent little rig. Honestly, for the money, I think it's completely 100% worth it. And it's even got some features that some other fishing poles don't like. This little button here you, makes it easier to store because it flips up, flips up or down or whatever. Yeah, I mean, and it's even got the forward and reverse. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty nice for 15 bucks. I don't think you can beat it. What are your thoughts on this thing, Cole? Well, I think it's pretty good for light, for fishing, for smaller fish, you know, obviously. But I like it especially that it's got all the features. And besides it riding up, I think it's definitely worth the money. Honestly, I think the riding up issue is just because it's brand new. I've had brand new, like $30, $40 poles ride up on me. So I think after a lot of use and stuff, quite a bit of use, you just, you just got to break them in. But anyway, personally, they'd be really good for just a fishing pole that you keep in your car when you're not scared that you're going to break it. A $30, $40 pole, that can get, add up pretty quick and keep breaking the tip off of it. So that's what I did to one of mine. I ended up leaving it in the car and the tip got broke off of it. And I was mad too, but anyway. It's a cheap enough pole to where if the tip breaks off or something silly like that, you ain't going to be too mad about it. It's decent, so, yeah, I, it's just a, mainly for me, it would be one that you could just keep in your car, and, you know, it's decent for catching fish. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and Jesus saves the devil and slaves, guys.